So for many returning players to Destiny 2 or players who missed out on getting exotics from previous DLCs or even seasons, when it comes to actually getting ones you missed, there's only really one way. Uh, well, there used to be only one way before the latest DLC in the final shape, and that was by doing Legend Lost Sectors. But with the final shape DLC, there is a much, much easier way now uh, to get these exotics you never got before. Exotics that are locked until you unlock them in collections. How's it going, guys? My name's DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So this has probably been posted by many other people, which I understand. I mean, it's something new to the game, but hey, I thought I'd cover it anyway. Okay, so to unlock exotics that you haven't previously obtained uh, was a thing of pure luck within the previous seasons. But now that has completely changed. It's gotten to a point now where you can actually get any exotic armor piece without having unlocked it previously. So how you do this, you may be wondering. Well, it's simple. Master Rahul, the horrible bastard. Uh, I still haven't forgiven him for decrypting my legendaries into blues 10 years ago. But yeah, the Cryptarch now within the final shape and beyond can be ranked up. Yes, decrypting engrams at the Cryptarch now allows you to rank him up uh, for his very own rewards. And while upon you reaching a rank 17, you can reset him. And upon you resetting him, you can actually focus exotics you have never previously unlocked via a new third tab for him. And while for me, taking a long hiatus from D2, there are many, many here for me to indeed get. Now, before we get into the fastest way to rank him up, you can see it will require you to have exotic engrams as well as exotic ciphers. Now, the fastest way to get these we'll talk about in a second. So ranking up the Cryptarch and the fastest way to do this to reset him to be able to grab those exotics you'd never previously unlocked requires around 6,000 XP. So how do you get that much XP? Well, Prime Engrams give you 100 XP. Exotic Engrams give you 150 XP. Advanced Focusing gives you 250 XP. And Tier 2 Focusing gives you 500 XP. So to achieve this and to be able to purchase exotics you never had previously, it will require you to decrypt 40 exotics or 24 advanced focuses or 12 tier 2 focuses on those exotics. But remember tier 2 focusing requires uh, 2 ascendant shards and a ton of glimmer. Now I have saved a few exotics to use and I was able to do this. I didn't actually really calculate but was surprised when I learned that this was a new feature. And while I'm happy because it means I can indeed now get those older exotics I never previously had. So what about exotic engrams? Where can you get these? Well, firstly, Legend Lost Sectors, now known as Expert Lost Sectors. Upon you completing these, if you do them solo, there's a chance that they will drop you an exotic engram. Where previously with these Legend Lost Sectors, it would give you a specific piece. Halmy, legs, gauntlets, chest piece. Now it gives you an exotic engram. Also remember the weekly rituals, Vanguard, Gambit, Crucible, now reward you 3 exotic engrams per week by simply playing. Pretty cool. We then guys have Master and Grandmaster Nightfalls. I see many exotics drop from these. Uh, I doubt this will change post final shape. And exotic engrams can also drop randomly too as I've had like 4 since playing the final shape. So yeah, pretty cool. So what about exotic ciphers? Well, there's these uh, weekly quest. This rewards you one, and it's quite simple to do. And then there's three, I believe, you can get from the season pass too. You can also get exotic ciphers from leveling up the Cryptarch too. So yeah, cool. So these are limited, but to be honest, you only really need them in this instance to unlock exotics you never previously owned just that one time. Once you have unlocked them, you can use the tier two on the second page to focus them uh, for ascendant shards, glimmer and an exotic engram. Also, don't forget exotic ciphers are used to add extra stat bonuses to Masterworks exotic armor. So don't waste these if you do not have to. Another quick tip for those returning players, make sure you apply the mod to your ghost before focusing exotics or anything related for that matter. This mod or the one you do pick will indeed, when it comes to focusing that arm piece, you can focus it with a specific armor stat. 
and I do believe the case to be when it comes to focusing. There are six stats, obviously, mobility, resilience, recovery, discipline, intellect, and strength. Uh, these uh, stats are separated into two sections, top three and bottom three. If on your goals you select to uh, focus into a top three stat, Odds are you'll get two of the bottom three sets that's with decent numbers, so keep that in mind. I, on my goals, focus into discipline because I also want mobility and resilience on my armor, which works about 90% of the time. Actually, I'm being generous there, probably about 80% of the time, so do keep it in mind. And there we have it, guys, how to get easy exotics, how to get exotics you'd never previously had that were locked in your collections. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one we all on youtube every damn day watching these vids of the brand new games bid after bid many are the same that's why you gotta go and find dpj testing these gameplays weekly snipes heavy uploads gonna have you a hype started in the uk now he's worldwide dpj go and subscribe